another edition of TCM Graduate TV. This is episode 65, and today we're doing the last heavy hitter on the Small Intestine channel, SI19. So we finished out with SI17 in the last episode, and SI18, you should know where it is and how to use it. it might be effective for Bell's palsy. I once had a patient who had a plate installed in their face, and it helped me help them with pain relief. However, I do prefer stomach acupuncture points on the face, pairing them Yang Ming style with LI4. Very effective in the clinic. Moving right along with small intestine 19. Now small intestine 19, I think about three different things. The first one is pain. So pain might look like an earache. Pain could also look like an infection, maybe due to wind heat. The next thing I think about is functional stuff. So maybe tinnitus and deafness. Because we're talking about the ear, I also think about balance. So maybe dizziness, vertigo, anything that might be controlled by the ear. Now we know that the balance center is located at GB20. And another great acupuncture point I like to use for balance is triple warmer 17, which is just fantastic for any ear thing. And of course, uh, trigeminal neuralgia because the trigeminal nerve enervates in that area. So we've got some pain, we've got some functional. And last but not least, I like to use SI19 for any TMJ. Of course, LI4, stomach six, stomach seven, great symptomatic group for TMJ. If there's any clicking pain, SI19 is fabulous for that. Last but not least, I'm really big into mnemonics, helping you remember acupuncture points, their neighbors, how to use them. So here in Canada, we have general sales tax, GST, general sales tax. And this helps me remember GST, all three acupuncture points that are in front of the ear. So we've got GST, so gallbladder, small intestine, triple warmer. And now all we have to do is do some math. So 2 plus 19 equals 21. And that's how I remember all three acupuncture points. Hopefully that helps you. Also, don't forget to ask your patients to open their mouth as wide as it can go for all three acupuncture points so we can insert safely and effectively. Just wanna remind you that safety is king, bedside matters king, and results are king in that order. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll make you another one. Next video is gonna be the big bad heavy hitter review for the entire small intestine channel.